Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to St. Peter the Apostle Parish. Today we celebrate the third Sunday of Easter. The intention for today's Mass is for all parishioners and for Carmen Hernandez. If you have not already silenced your cell phone or other electronic devices, now is the time to do so. Thank you. In preparation for our celebration, let us take a few moments to place ourselves in the presence of the Lord.
Please stand and greet those around you in preparation for our celebration. And good evening, everyone. How are you doing today? Great. Today, it is a special day. And it's special because these students who are making their first communion, and I hope that they will empower, empower us to remember that day when we were so excited making our first communion because that is the first encounter that I will have with the body and blood of Christ. So all the children who are making their first communion, let us give them a big, a big hand. <laughs> are the children feeling good? I couldn't hear you. Yeah. So this is not your first and last communion. This is the first and many more. Is that right? So knowing that Easter is a celebration of joy when we remember that Jesus is alive with the joy of this third Sunday of Easter, let us begin our celebration of joy by saying together, in the name of the Father and in the Son and in the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of the risen Lord, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To allow God to be with us in this celebration, let us take a moment to recognize our sinfulness and humble ourselves, asking the Lord to share with us his love and his forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Everyone. 
Have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And with the joy of Easter, let us sing the glory of our God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the heart. May your people exalt forever, O oh God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing 
of that day of the resurrection through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the captain and the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel rep repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. The Sanhedrin ordered the apostles to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismiss them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> 
water. You changed my morning into dancing. Oh Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and heard the voices of many angels who surrounded the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They were countless in number and they cried out in a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea, everything in the universe cry out to the one who sits on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor, glory and might forever and ever. The four living creatures answered, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshipped. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel 
according to John. At that time, Jesus revealed himself to his disciples at the sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didamus, Nathanael from Cana of Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. They said to him, we also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. When it was already down, Jesus was standing on the shore. But the disciples did not realize that he was Jesus. Jesus said to them, children, have you kept anything to eat? They answered him, no. So he said to them, cast the net over the right side of the boat and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the numbers of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When, Peter, when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked his subgarment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came into the boat, for they were not far from the shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. So Jesus said to them, come, have breakfast. And one of thy disciples there to ask him, who are you? Because they realized that it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them. And in like manner, the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. And please be seated for a moment. We cannot forget that Easter is a time of joy. Why? Because we are invited to profess that Jesus is alive. And some of us, we need to have an encounter with the risen Lord, that he will transform our lives. That is why during this 
first Sundays of Easter before the assumption of this, the ascension of Jesus to the Father in heaven, he revealed himself to the disciples to let them know that he is alive. Because some of the disciples, they were confused after Jesus died in the cross. So it was important for them to have that personal encounter with the risen Lord. And today, in the third time that Jesus appeared to them, it looked like the disciples, they were ready. They were ready to go back to their normal, normal life. When Peter said to the other disciple, you know what? I'm going fishing. Sound like they for, he forgot that they had been chosen to become witness of the risen Lord. But Jesus took that moment. Jesus took that moment when they were fishing and they couldn't catch anything. So Jesus said, hey, how you doing? How you doing with the fishing? And they said, no good. Not, we have not caught anything. But Jesus said, why don't you put that net in the other side of the boat? And they didn't know. They didn't know that it was Jesus who was asking them. And they got a lot of fish. And then Jesus was waiting for them ashore with a big charcoal fire with bread and fish. And he invited his disciples to have a meal with them and said, hey, come here and have a breakfast. Jesus was sharing that moment with them. And they didn't question Jesus, who are you? Because they knew in their heart, in their mind, that he was Jesus. And we can see in the first reading for the Ark of the Apostles how Jesus impressed with those revelations of the risen Lord to his disciples because now we see how Peter and the other disciples, they have been transformed. They were ready to give testimony of Jesus. So today, you little ones, Jesus himself is inviting you to join him at the altar to receive for the first time his body. Hopefully, this personal encounter that each one of you are going to have with the risen Lord will give you the strength, will give you the desire to be a witness at home. Amen. Amen. So, are you ready to do that? I will invite two special kids. They grow, they grew in the Methodist Church. And today they want to join us in the Catholic Church. So they are going to be welcomed by doing with all of us the profession of faith. So Lillian and Daniel, please come here. And everybody, please stand. And because I don't know the creed by heart, in English, in English, I need to read it too.
So you don't know the creed by heart, you can read it. There's nothing wrong about that. Are you ready? So let us all say, to, to, all say together the creed. I believe in one God. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, with Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, no may, constantious with the Father, through him all things were made for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism by the forgiveness of sins, right? the resurrection of life, and the life of the world to come. Amen. And let us give them a big hand as we welcome them to the Catholic Church. Welcome. Anya, welcome. And you. Look who is waiting for you. And knowing that God is here in our midst, let us bring our petitions to the goodness of the Lord. For the church, that empowered by the Holy Spirit, we may give witness to the freeing and healing power of the risen Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout the world, that our leaders may work together to resolve all conflicts honestly and respectfully, we pray. Lord. For all who suffer persecution for their beliefs, that new channels may open so that all people may live in safety, freedom, and with respect, we pray. For all who exercise ministry in the church, that they may be rooted in love, service, and commitment to Christ, we pray. Lord, For all of us, especially the children of our parish community making their first communion this Easter season, that we may always be nourished when we receive the risen Lord, we pray. For all who are sick, Father Jerry Nadine, Leilani Patterson, Lauren Slate, Marina Stella Rojas, for the homebound and for their caregivers, we pray. Lord. For all who have died, Carmen Hernandez, Santiago Lobrera, George McConnell, William Schinner. May they join with Christ in the new life that he shares with the Father, we pray. For all those who have asked for our prayers and for the intentions we carry in the quiet of our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have sent your Son 
and the Holy Spirit to us to redeem and sanctify us. Listen to the prayers of your people and grant them according to your will. Through Christ, your Son who lives forever and ever. Amen. And please, sit it. And blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for through your goodness we have the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and it will become for us the bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. May Almighty Father bless the divinity of this family. And blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have a wine we offer you, through the vine and work of human hands, and it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever. and pray brothers and sisters and children who are back in their first communion that this sacrifice of the eucharist mine and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept this sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of god's name for our good and all the good of his church receive O lord we pray this offerings of your exultant church as you have given her house for such a great gladness grant also that the gift we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through christ our lord amen and the lord be with all of you and with your spirit lift up your heart we lift them up to the Lord. And let us, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all that time to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to allow you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restore our life. Therefore, overcome with possible joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
And I would like to invite the children who are making the First Communion, just come here. Come here around the altar. I know that it is a very special day for you. Come here. You didn't in rehearse all this. So it's Father Arturo improvising. You come around the altar. You can kneel. You could. You could kneel. Because this is a moment in which through the prayers of the priests and the prayers of the people, this bread and this wine is going to be transformed in the body and blood of Christ, which you will receive for that first time today. And it's a moment of the consecration. So I'm going to invite you to kneel. Please, can you kneel? You are indeed holy, O oh Lord, the found of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down upon them your Holy Spirit like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks again, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. As we celebrate, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be here in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, and remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, all the clergy and lay ministers. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Peter, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise 
and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And let us pray together with this community of believers. Let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Our Father. So we all say together, Our Father, thy kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day a daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns, Forever and ever. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the written of you. And, with your spirit. and let us take a moment to share a sign of peace. And this is Jesus, the risen Lord, is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And happy, happier you, because today you are invited to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy you should come into my room, but only say a word and I shall.
Keep in mind that Jesus Christ has died for us and is risen from the dead. He is our saving Lord. He is joy for all ages. If we die with the Lord, we shall live with the Lord. If we endure with the Lord, we shall reign with the Lord. Keep in mind that Jesus Christ has died for us and is risen from the dead. He is our saving Lord. He is joy for all ages. In Him all our sorrow, in Him all our joy, in Him hope of glory, in Him all our for us and is risen from the dead. He is our saving Lord. He is joy for all ages. In him our redemption, in him all our
and let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And please be seated for a moment. A reminder that next weekend's second collection is for the reduction of the debt on our church sanctuary. Please take home today's bulletin for more information about these announcements and for other parish news and upcoming events. Thank you, Margaret. And I want to thank all the children, and especially your parents, your family, for giving you the courage to celebrate this beautiful day of your first communion. And I hope that I will continue seeing you every Sunday. Okay? <laughs> and Harry son, your uncle made it a little late because he was driving for Orange County and the traffic is, let us welcome Father Bill who joined us here today. He couldn't make it. And please stand and bow your head for a special blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten son, was pleased to comfort on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. And the people of God answer, Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs of eternal inheritance, and the people respond, Amen. May you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner in this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven, and the people respond. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. And with the joy of Easter, go and give testimony of the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. And I will invite all the children for one picture with me. Come here so you know. Come here and so they can take all the pictures all together. Is everybody smiling? Okay.
Let's get him out of here. Go. Go. My life flows on in endless song above earth's lamentation. I hear the real though far off hymn that hails a new creation. No storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging. Since love is Lord of how can I keep from singing? Through all the tumult and the strife, I hear the music ringing. It sounds and echoes in my soul. How can I? 